I interrupt you this evening to bring you a special something. It has been brought to my attention that I have been looking for a new camera. A camera to, to video me for all my stupidity and dumbness and to catch it in high definition. So, today I unbox my first test of a camera. Will it be all I need? Will it be everything I'm looking for? Will it be to the last Game Hunter's standards? Stay tuned. Let's figure that out. Okay guys, so today I received a package from Amazon Canada. It was a deal on a camcorder that I just couldn't pass up. I watched some reviews on it. It's mixed. So I'm gonna put it up against my current camera, which is a Galaxy Note 8. That's right, I've been doing all my videos. For a while it was on a Galaxy Note 5. Now it's on a Note 8. And the quality is phenomenal, but I am limited. And sometimes you'll see screen movement and stuff like that. And I can't quite figure it all out. So I decided I'm gonna find a, a, a camera to do the job. That'd be more of a fixed camera. And I'd use my Note 8 and stuff for when I'm out and about and whatever. So, I'm gonna do an open box. And let's see what I got. Here's this lovely brown box. You know, the Amazon smiling box but there's a box inside the box. Let's see what we got. I like this knife. I like it a lot. Almost like that new smell. You know that new car smell? We're almost there. So I open a brown box and find brown paper. Ah. What the heck? Not very big. Got some weight to it though. So now... Okay. So the Ander, I'm going to say Ander, 4K camera, I don't know if it actually does true 4K, hey, let's see what we got. So I have a box in a really nice shape. So this is a test, if I don't like this camera, I'm just going to send it back. But right now, this is the camera that I seem to have chosen, mainly because of price and I'm YouTube and on a budget. Remember, I don't make any money. So right now all I'm doing is spending it. So let's see. Ooh. So we have a mini HDMI to HDMI cable. Instruction booklet. for microphone. Yeah, this one comes with the uh, boom mic, which I thought was kind of cool. One of the reasons why I wanted to give this one a shot and the uh, 4K user manual, which is actually pretty, uh, pretty hefty. I'm guessing this is part of the uh, wide angle lens uh, mounting stuff. Here's a normal USB cable. Oh, there's the uh, wide-angle lens. Comes in a trusty little keep it clean case. Wow, it's actually got some good weight to it. 
it's all metal. Like this is not a, doesn't feel cheap. It feels really good. So far I'm uh, impressed. Oh, here we go. Microphone. Oh, it looks like a battery case is right here. You got to put a battery in it. Looks like a CR2032. Uh oh, there we go. That's kind of nice. Cleaning cloth, you gotta have your cleaning cloth. Oh, and here's the cable to hook the microphone up. And they even supplied the battery, which is a 2032. Now, kind of cool that it comes with a little bag, I'll give it that. It's a nice feeling little bag. Oh, so here we go. Here's the Ander 4K camera. Now this is also my first time seeing this. Again, all I've seen is reviews. Wow, you know what people, this does feel pretty good. I have to say. But we'll have to put it to the test and find out if it can pull off a proper YouTube video. So, the camera comes with a lot of toys. It feels good. It looks good. Very, very, very easy motion. Construction seems pretty good. So let's put it into the test. This is going to go up against my Galaxy Note 8, which can pull off amazing video quality as you've seen in my videos. So it's gonna be phone versus camcorder. Who's gonna win? Now I have a JVC camcorder as well. And what it fails on is the fact that I cannot, uh, it's very narrow uh, field of vision. So what I liked about the phone was a very wide field of vision. And I wanted the same thing out of a camcorder. So maybe what I'll do as well is I'll actually put the JVC video quality up against this and I'll record everything in 1080p that's all I upload in anyway and I think the video is perfect to 1080p you do not need to upload higher end than that I'll give you a detailed review on this camera see if it's worthwhile and hey if I can save everybody some money why not so this is the Andor 4k camera recording at this point in time I set it to be 1080p, 60 frames per second. I think I'm going to change that to 30 frames a second because 60 frames will not be needed. So let me do a playback on this so I can see it even and see how happy I am, what the quality is like, and do I have a winner? First try out. Okay, so I've played around with the lighting uh, so far not impressed with this camera um the i don't know i just didn't find it as sharp as my phone at this point in time so now i've changed it to 1080p 30 frames a second and altered the lighting so let's see what this looks like okay so now that looked a heck of a lot better i'm gonna say now I'm recording in 2K. So I've bumped it up a bit. So we're almost, we got, you yeah, know, we're not double the resolution, but we're getting there. And this is about the max where I would probably push it for the simple reason I don't want the files to be too big. So the camera looks good here. I can be happy. It did look a lot better. Lighting is a key for this camera. So it's not as forgiving lighting wise as the phone is, but we are talking about different technology. In fact, I don't think my JVC is going to be forgiving for lighting either, and it's going to require just as much or more. 
So let's try this out. So I'm running at 30 frames a second at 2K. How does this fare out? Now we have the JVC hooked up. Only reason why I wanted to do this is I want to compare camcorder to camcorder. What is better? We don't know. We'll find out now in a few minutes. I just want to see that can this camcorder match this JVC? And if so, awesome because I have the benefits of the wide angle lens. As you can probably see there might be a difference in the video. Not 100% yet until I play it back. Uh, but there should be more viewable area on the other camera at this distance. So let's check and see. Um, now this camera can only record in 1080p and I believe it's at uh, 60 or 30 frames per second. I'm not 100%. Uh, the menu is a little different. I don't think I can actually select uh, too much that way. Um, it was just designed as a true 1080p camcorder and let's see the lighting and everything has been not altered whatsoever. The background is still the background and I'm still sitting in the exact same spot that I was sitting in when I had the Andor hooked up. So let's check this video out. After doing a bunch of different tests, um, a day later, this camera is garbage. I don't care what any review says. Do not buy this camera. It didn't compete with the JVC as you've seen in the video. It didn't even, like, not even comparable. At almost twice the resolution. This camera, I'm not even bothering to put it up against the Samsung because now you're seeing this footage now is the Samsung. This is my Note 8. And to be honest, it's the best video footage I have to date. I don't know what to say here other than don't buy this. It cannot do 4K video. It, it can only do 2K video. And I would call it not even, it'd be sub HD. It, it is very, very poor. I don't know if it's the lens. I don't know. Maybe there was something I did wrong, but I've tried everything with this camera and it has failed me in every aspect. I'm sending it back. This is my first time doing a real review on something like this. I'm actually kind of sad. I liked it. It was very nice. The construction was very good. This camera had nothing but promise. And I read reviews all over Amazon saying how good it is. And then I'm not going to say idiot, but some idiot said that I do camera reviews and this does for 4k for $300 no it don't even do anything in HD in my opinion this camera the Andor 4k is a fail thank you for watching wish I could have had something better to say about it but unfortunately it is a fail last game hunter please like subscribe and share and ring that bell.